The Ministry of Works and Infrastructure under the Lagos State Government today flagged off the second phase of rehabilitation and road expansion of the Eleko Awoyaya Road, which is being handled by the construction giant Cranbor Construction Company. Led by the Special Advisor on Works and Infrastructure, Enginara Midiadi Oye, the team met with the Council Chairman of Ibejuleke Local Government, Honorable Engineer Blaise Sonloa, as both parties got updated on the recent event in the Axis. Honorable Pablaish Sonloa noted that the high level of investment going on in the Bejuleki local government area has made the influx of vehicular movement to be on the rise. He sees the opportunity to thank the Lagos State Government for always paying prompt attention to issues affecting the council area. Honorable Oloa also had kind words for Cranbrook Construction Company as he admitted that indeed they've always gone out of their way to ensure comfort for road users plying the axis. The council chairman who spoke with members of the press assured the citizenry that the Lagos State Government, under the administration of Mr. Babajide Olushola Songwulu, is not relenting in ensuring that the Bejuleki local government area gets the best in terms of infrastructure. The special advisor on works and infrastructure, engineer Ramide Adeyoye, while addressing journalists, talked about the need for proper road expansion as the road is ever busy compared to what it used to be 40 years ago. The special advisor, however, assured that the second phase will soon near completion, as was the case in Eleko Epe Expressway, which is almost 99.9% .9 complete. The road rehabilitation and upgrade taking place at the Eleko Awoya Axis is the second phase of the Ekpaitu Ibramadisonya road project, which is expected to be completed soon. Only recently, the Ekpa Eleko road expansion was completed at 99.9% .9 as the entire project delivery is expected to connect to Ibramadisonya. The Governor Babajide Sonwulu led administration is not relenting in ensuring the Goshans enjoy good infrastructure as the citizenry of Ibejuleki local government area will smile soon while cruising on good motorable roads.